Okay, check this out. This is Asan City. What's the name of this cafe, honey? All right, it's the Moon Yom. Basically, it's a cafe themed around used cars. Well, I shouldn't say used, vintage cars. You got like the garage in here. That car's from 1950. It's an old Chrysler. Look at that. What do we got here? Oh, like an old Plymouth. Oh, yeah. Ooh, check this out. It's pretty cool. So this place is supposed to be a museum and a cafe. Oh, yeah, look at this. Mercedes. Wow, 1928. It's really interesting. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, there's another roadster. What's this, an old pony? Oh, Hyundai. <laughs> yeah, so Hyundai had their own, this is like one of their first pickup trucks. It looks like a pony. I'm sorry if my voice is muffled, I have to wear a mask. We're under COVID after all. Wow, look at that. Oh, hello. That's really nice. Uh, that's really good. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I want to get a picture of that for sure. Should have brought your camera, honey. Look at that. Yeah, so if I'm correct, this is what's called the Hyundai Pony. The Pony was one of Korea's first cars being made. Um, they got a little model of a toy one, uh, hatchback in there from 1975. So like 70s, maybe early 80s. This is kind of like one of the first cars that Koreans could start affording. I've seen a couple of these. I saw a used car dealership that actually had one of these for sale. But I don't see the name badge on here. But anyway, I think it's kind of interesting because, you know, Korea really, you know, it wasn't until after the Korean War that Korea got its foot off the ground, right? Started industrializing, producing its own goods. It started producing their own cars so they didn't have to import. And you're looking at one of those early efforts. If you look inside here, basic gear shifter, manual, parking brakes. Yeah, you got seat belts. And some of the console controls up there. <laughs> yep. And then you got that Lamborghini there. The Kosh, what do you say that? Kosh, Kosh, however you pronounce that. So cool. So it's kind of funny how as a kid in the 80s, like, wow, man, we all wanted this. Contosh, C-O-U-N-T-A-C-H. Now it's like, yeah, that's kind of old, <laughs> but it's still a good looking car. It's an old, but good looking car. Yeah. All right. So, like I said, I think I mentioned another part of the video. Places like this in Korea are really cool to visit. It's what makes this place interesting. Um, and it's what's worth going out and seeing. So, I hope you all found this interesting. Check out the cafe here. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Look at that, that's so cool. Most wanted. Wow, this place is so vintage retro. Look at that. Look at all these cameras and stuff. Remember when people actually used to use rolls of film? By the way, here's some old Coca-Cola. See, Coca-Cola. Oh wow, check this out. They got like old video games. These are old uh, Famicom or yeah, yeah, 
Not family com, that's Japanese. Um Comboy. Oh yeah, see check it out. That is actually Japanese. That's the Oh wow. This is actual Japanese NES. Now in Korea, they have one too, but it's called the uh, Hyundai Comboy, and it's the same thing but just branded with Hyundai. Because for a long time you were not allowed to have Japanese products in Korea, so they had to rebrand it. Check this out. Old three and a half inch disc. I think I got one of those at my house. And you got these old five and a quarter. Man. Amazing. And the things have changed. Hmm. The Kit Kat radio. Look at that. Big boom boxes. You got like. I guess some people still use those a little bit. They're not high school. Like this, like this. Yeah, same here. Wow. Collection of radios at this point. Alright. Had a nice little, uh, oh wow, they got the band out here. That's the cafe part. Out. They sell these in the Korea. This brand, it's a French brand. Citrion, I think. I don't know how to pronounce it. Citron. Wow. So small. I guess that's your trunk right there. <laughs> I like all the old, uh, what do you want to call it? telephone booths and stuff. There you go, modern X, modern cars too for the collection. My wife was talking to the owner of this place. He's supposed to have like 30 cars. So you got this old Chevy pickup truck. I see a couple of these around there. There's a place in Osan Air Base nearby. There's a guy with some of these old trucks like this. The old army ones though. Army spec. Or military spec I should say. So you got like a little trail there. I have to go check that out. Yeah, so if you guys are interested in this place, um, I will put some information below so you can find it. But this is like in Asan City. Not about roughly 30, 35 minutes from the Camp Humphreys area. I'll check out that motorcycle. So, uh, really cool place to visit. It is one of the cool things about Korea is like getting to go on these little trips. And, you know, if I was in the States, is it really cool to see an old car in the States? No, because it's common, right? I can just go to any place. But someplace like this it's special in Korea and it is nice it's pleasant so let's see what we got here. I'm gonna walk around here a little bit see what we got so this is kind of set up like an old little town there was a few years ago I went to a place outside of Andong it was like a retro village from the 80s had the old style coffee shops old style music everything and that was a really cool place to visit. If I got that video, I might link it up there. It is like, well, if you're going to be in Korea, those are cool places to check out. Little places like this are the cool things to check out while you're in Korea. Now look at all this stuff. Post office. Yep, pretty interesting. Oh, there it is. Go check this out.
Uh, Austin. Look how tiny that is. Look at that sprite. Austin Healy. Interesting. It's so tiny. Wow. What a... What's this thing? old pickup truck back in the days when pickup trucks were meant for one thing hauling what is this the Hudson I'm not familiar with this brand man got here so was that the Nash Department of Public Safety Texas I'm just like amazed how I forget how small cars can be sometimes but I mean this thing barely goes up to my chest So you got some more cars over there too. <laughs> nice. It's time to go back to the wife. Oh yeah. Some old eight tracks. Oh my gosh. That's really, really old. Don't waste waste. Okay, Saregi Ru Juip Shida. That'd be cool to see some old computers or retro as we say. Like this one. Look at this. Man, this is like one of those old laptop computers. <laughs> Don't want to touch it. Well, look, we got some of the old phones and stuff there. Bicycles, even. Look at all this. This is like the stuff I had when I was a real little kid back in the early 80s, late 70s or 80s. We still had stuff like this. Except we had Cincinnati Bell that was installed. Oh, then we progressed to these. 
And then the cell phones. Oh, wireless phones. Phones first, then cell phones. <laughs> Halloween theme. What's this? Coupons? Hmm. Alright, I gotta try to get back to the wife. The kids. But look at these old games here. Here, so I need to get back. What do we got here? Oh, <laughs> it's an old classroom. Check this out. With an old game, Soldier Select. Frank Sinatra. There you go. Awesome. Well, there's an old computer. Jeez. You know, for young people, they don't have no idea what it was like to have stuff like this. This is early. This has got to be the 90s because you got the CD-ROMs there. So that's like 90s, maybe 2000-ish. Uh, Intel inside Pentium. Yeah. That was college for me. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. All right, everybody. So just finished my tour of this pretty interesting coffee shop slash museum there is so much to see if you love old cars retro tech old tvs whatever and the point it's your music okay i just noticed that on the yeah if you're into all like classic cars vintage cars whatever floats your boat especially from america and europe then this is a great place to check out uh like I said, the information below will be posted in, comment, or in, in the description below. Please check it out. And I have intentionally cut out some of the this place. I want people to have a reason to come here. So I didn't film like some of the stuff over there. I didn't film some of the stuff over there because I want people to, to come here. So, But look on Instagram. I am on Instagram. Check me out there if you're interested in uh, seeing some photos that I, of this place. And have a good one, everybody. Bye.